Hello Fox, so uh, you know while uh, running my Apache 2, you know when I'm uh, configuring my OpenL app and you know when I configure Apache 2 and you know try to access PHP LDAP admin, I'm getting this error, you know, like unrecognized error number 8192. So how to fix this error? Okay, first of all, I thought there is some issues with configuration of Apache 2 and all but uh, you know, like I restarted my Apache 2 multiple time, you know, started like system CTL restart like this kind of command I run but actually didn't help. Okay, so how to you know, uh, uh, fix this issue. So this issue is uh, <clears throat> first, let me show you what is the LDAP version I'm using. One second. Okay. So you see uh, open LDAP I'm using here is like 2.5 I'm using. Okay. So if I talk about one minute. Hmm. So how to fix this issue? Okay. It's very simple. Uh, right click. Uh, or go to folder from this location. Files. I will tell you. click on the files and go to other locations and uh, here just look for user user uh, share php admin will be one folder One second. Okay. Just uh, scroll down, down, down. And second where is the folder yeah php ldap admin yeah this folder so in this folder actually htdocs and libs this two folder is the issue which is giving you this error so just simply go and delete this folder you know using command line and whatever you like you simply go and delete and you have to replace this folder with the two folders i am going to show so these are the folders you can see htdocs and libs. These are the two folders you have to, you know, download and I will give you the link in the video's description and just simply go here and, you know, simply just delete and replace that these two folders. That's it. And after that, you have to stop your, you know, uh, uh, Apache 2 and you have to start your Apache 2. So here is the list of command. I will probably, you know, update my blog soon on this. If you want to access my blogs, guys, you can simply go and just type item learning dot in. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so here I will be posting it today, still not posted, but I will be, you know, going and posting it today, the steps also, so it will definitely help you out. Okay, so it's simple, just check your status and then you stop it, okay, and then you start it. That's it. And when you stop and start and when you reload it, your issue will be resolved. Then you have to click on login and whatever is your you know, username and uh, one second what is your whatever is the username and password and just click on authentication and that's it you will able to access it so make sure you did this two changes and that's it the issue is resolved so this is how guys we will you know resolve the issue thank you